This is The Local Show, proudly brought to you by New Zealand On Air Music. It's me, Abby. I've got the honour of interviewing, uh, what's the maths on this? Three quarters? Three fifths? Yeah, three fifths. Three fifths, three fifths of car. Or department. you could argue half. half. Yeah, half. Why would Dad argue Because if we add Brody back in, we're six, and then there's three of us in the room. Now, that was on my mind in this interview. Do we dare bring Brody up? Yeah, yeah, Brody's still a part you of can, it. Yeah. You can address the torso in the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's going on there? Brody was a founding father. <laughs> Can department. we please get a Photoshop of Brody on Mount Rushmore? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> just a bald head. Just a torso. Just a circle. <laughs> is he coming back? Is the position filled? What are we? Where does that look like? Well, I guess um they so Brody uh, even when we first started Kaki Department was um really uh, transparent with the fact that they're going to be moving to Europe at some point in the future. Right. Um, and we kind of just um, trudged on ahead anyway. Uh, they might be back. They might stay. We're not sure. But they are, like, will, and always will be a part of Kaki Department. Shannon's just like a... Um, a fill-in. Nah, not a fill-in. No. They're, they're a part of Kaki Department Nah, she's a new well. signing. A new, new signing. signing. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. Right. fully incorporated into yeah. the culture of the department. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. No, that was good. I did want to address that um, because grey area for me, grey area for me. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have Kaki Department actually been a, together then? Because time is flowing if it was only... I want to say June or July last year. Just over a year. Just over a year, and yeah. you've taken Aotearoa by storm. <laughs> um, hotly and quickly becoming one of Palmy's greatest, I'd say. Uh, oh, one wow. of the, the potes, the pates. <laughs> Pami uh, greatest of all times. Wow. Pami of all times. Well, um, we once went to a Smoke Free Rock Quest uh, <laughs> where we were the guest band. Really? And yeah, and uh, on, on the bag it said Pami's guest band, but C read it as. <laughs> I, I was tired, and I thought, <laughs> and, and the handwriting was bad, I will say. I thought it said Palmy's best band on, on the bag. <laughs> ah. yeah. It was quite a, um, a moment of sadness fell across the room. But it was quite, it was quite <laughs> accurate, though. It was like, uh, no, as in, not as in that we are Palmy's best band, but as in um, if it did say Palmy's best band and then you open the bag of complimentary goods and it's like mandarins. So like, that yeah. is so Palmy. Yeah, yeah, that's what Palmy's best band would get. Yeah. We, we didn't get our hot citrus, house. Yeah. We didn't get We our love house. citrus. Um, so your, your new album is out. Uh, I listened on the way here for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Local big honey. Fan, big, big, fan, fan, big, big fan, big fan. Big fan. <laughs> didn't realise it was a full 44 minute. <laughs> it's a full, hey, full yeah, length e- album. Uh, album, full length album. Yeah. Yeah, none of this EP, Kaka. And you know, half of it was recorded right here at the stomach. And that's where I was going. Who recorded it? What did you do? <laughs> where, how did that all go? Um, so uh, the second half was uh, from C's first performance with us as Kaki Department when we did our Live to Hear. 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 Right here um, at the stomach. Um, and uh, Nigel, the fantastic engineer here, made us sound absolutely amazing. Uh... RNZ described, RNZ described us described as them, stadium yeah. rock. Stadium rock. Um, oh. and, also described, <laughs> and also described the uh, Dan's drums as stadium drums um, and uh, was surprised that they were actually being played by a human and not a machine. That's a bizarre thing surprised. to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stadium rock. Yeah, um, we're not claiming that. Uh, we will take uh, the other thing that was said about us and say uh, that we had the most audacious riff of the week, yeah. and we've been running with that one. Yeah, it's at this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Do you want to be in the band? Yeah, hey, you, you are, are in the band. Is that how it goes? You play it better That's than us. It. You yeah. just ask and then you shall receive. Yeah, you really well. Why is it called local honey? Um, so I can I see. Well, Amelia has things to say about it. Amelia Shadbolt yeah. from Persman. Um, she thinks it's about who? She yeah. thinks it's about her. Yeah. Um, that remains to be seen. Right. Yeah. I think it's vague. Um, there, there is a bit of a gag to it. Um, I think it will reveal itself over the tour. <laughs> um, we do, in fact, have local honey that we're going to take around with us. Um, I've heard rumour, because you also released a music video, which is a real hoot and a half. It you really, might be in it. Maybe, I don't think so. There's an old man that looks similar, <laughs> but I don't know if it's me. Um, there is one part in that where you spit out a large amount of honey. 
that's made people feel quite uneasy. I've heard some people have actually gagged by watching it. <laughs> I gagged editing it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I was like uh, not too keen on it being uh, a part of the video, but our director made the editorial choice. Right. That, uh, that, Director's that cut. Remain. It was part of the vision. Do we do we want to actually answer the local honey thing or? You can do it. Yeah, I'm not going to do it. Uh, well, because don't be mysterious. Just be no. Nah, so there's there's like a joke background to it, which we won't get into because okay. it's part of the secret law that only if you're in you can know. But I've sort of come up with my own sort of meaning to it that okay. like the joke was revolving around the concept that local honey could help with hay fever <laughs> because it's got local pollen yeah, yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am suffering of my first year of hay fever. Right. It's awful. Um, but so I, I sort of think of it as like making music with your friends, like what, what we've done as a band, like the whole experience of us making the album and just hanging out and being idiots together is the cure to local ailments. Wow. Like the Jeez, the first the first move kind of provincial blight of living in Palmerston North is cured by the local honey of making music with your friends. That's so deep. Yeah. I'm a deep thinker, Abby. No doubt, no doubt. I think we went to university for it and everything. <laughs> Wow. I have to cut that out. No, don't. <laughs> don't you cut that out. This is going to be raw, unedited, raw honey. I hope so. Um, so, <laughs> the Mount Rushmore of Kaki Department. Mm. Dan, mm. Uh, you, was it you starting up this? You've got many no, a project no. under your hat. You, you, you can't, don't, don't put me in this. This okay. is definitely Jordan's this, this band. This is Jordan Kube's okay. band. Okay, that's really good to know. This is Kube's band. This makes me sad. It's, it's my, I get to play music with my friends. Okay, yeah, so, but, you know, when you start a band, you, get, you one person goes up to someone yeah, and yeah. says, hey, I want to start a band. That and was Jordan. That was Jordan. Mr. Coupe. Yeah. yeah. You went up to your mates and said, right, so what was the selection process like for that? Um, <laughs> oh, pretty much the selection process was, um, there was no much, not much selection. I, I just pretty much um, sent Dan a bunch of demos um, over one weekend, uh, where I did bass and guitar and stuff like that. And then, um, Dan, uh, mixed them and did a bit of drums and, uh, some vocals on a couple of the tracks. I did vocals on one of them, I think. And then, um, we were kind of hit up by Mikey at work at, um, radio control, shout out manager Mikey, um, who, uh, he was like, oh, we need like a band for a live to air in a no. month. <laughs> so, um. I ran around like a maniac trying to find anyone that would say yes to me. Um, no one said no. No one said no. <laughs> we love that. But um, you, you went for the you went straight for um, the the two people and me and Brody who are just experts at feedback and nothing else. Yeah. You I, went for like let's just fill the room with <laughs> mindless noise. Uh, yeah. I think um, I, I, at, at that point in time I probably hadn't uh, really thought about that. Um, it was, I didn't think that Brody wouldn't, uh, would refuse to learn chords and stuff like that. Right. Um, <laughs> but, um, it all kind of just came together really quite, uh, naturally. Um, I think at our first practice together, um, it just felt kind of like sweet straight away. Like we all kind of came into the room and understood mm. like the, the vision for it. it. Sounded heaps different to the demos, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, uh, so our first practice was without C, and then we played a, one gig without C, and then um, our second practice was with C, and yeah. the, and that we was the week. Our first show three weeks after we actually formed as yeah. a four piece. Yeah, that's yeah. so interesting. And then three weeks after that, we had we played our live tour. I had my first practice the week of the live tour, which was my first performance, no, which fair. is what is on local honey. Yeah, so mm. it was very um, very fast moving like I had to learn things quite quickly um, and I, I just think we should point out the in impeccable recruitment of horny baseline technician oh, Benjamin Foster. Well, I was Foster. about to bring um, up ben. Honestly, key figure of the sound. Bit of a shy hundred. guy. Oh, very. He's actually here right now, you just can't hear yeah, him. Yeah, and that's just, that's so true. You, 
because uh, yep. I say yep. you guys are a bit of a yeah, a bit of a motley crew, but a bit of uh, <laughs> you know, you're, you're quite you're quite fun, quite quite raucous sort of folks, and then you got quite little sweet Ben. See, th- no, yeah, no, 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 no. no. Dra- He's got a, a false. A... Right. No, like, I mean, um, publicly very kind, very personable, very. Um, lovely young man but he is actually absolute demon person yeah he is actually a demon sent from the lowest (laughs) tier of hell okay i'm genuinely scared of ben yeah like genuinely scared of ben and it's one of those things that like um ben's listening to this at work (laughs) you have to be uh close to him to start um trolling you the way he does interesting Um, i've once um screamed at ben on stage that he hates me and um and why does he hate me right um, both yeah. of those things were screamed so loud over you've heard us play right we're mm, pretty loud mm. yeah all you could hear was me screaming, screaming at ben, at ben. why hard. do you hate but me we found ben <laughs> we found him on the streets <laughs> on the street uh, no so ben um played bass yeah. at high school they had a really cool little um band they went to st peter's he's actually um, in coldplay they also mm. play bass for Coldplay, mm. who are playing on Wednesday, so um, you'll catch Ben there if yeah. you're going to that gig. Sick. No, yeah, is it sound check? Is it sound check? Um, and um, he was do- in a project with Dan that Dan was doing a mm. recording project called Fun Life Breakout Suite at the time. And I heard the kind of bass lines and stuff that they've been doing with Dan. And I just kind of reached out to Ben through Dan and right. was like, um, would you like to come and play in this project as well? And they just kind of said yes. And... Um, the first three demos were like kind of like it's just me doing bass so i'm not a bass player i just like play the root notes and kind of figure it out and him coming in and adding that like sparkle was just insane Mm. like bringing the ben touch like um if you hear us um or in any of our recordings or live um we call it the ben come tone because it's just insane yeah. He's got a real knack for like a horny, wobbly bass line, like yeah. a wow. Yeah, he's really got that in him. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, wow. of course, the lovely Shunky mm. um, has joined us recently. Miss Peterson. Um, refuses also to learn chords or songs, uh, refuses to um, uh, contribute. Uh, Basically, when we were, we were the, the first or... half of the album that mm. we recorded, like, in Dan's shed or just at home like the first half of the album is all like DIY job um Shannon didn't finish recording her guitar parts until the day before the album came out classic classic so um that's that's Miss Peterson in a nutshell just results focused but you know diamonds are made under pressure yeah um and what about yourself how do you perform under pressure (laughs) <laughs> I think we're all uh, like Dan and I are definitely similar. To we're Shanky. results focused. We're results focused. Everyone we're is. We're all about the the diamond. Like yeah, I, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm personally quite a like last minute deadline person. I don't know about you, Abby. No, I'm planned. Sure. Um, <laughs> I'm well on top of things. Yeah. Um. C's I, definitely a very good planner, which is just amazing to have. This good the planner, group. but like musically, I I feel like I like the diamond thing because mm. like my first performance was the live to wear, and like I just had to figure something out on the spot, and I quite like that because mm. yeah. it took away all the anxiety of like thinking about it. Yeah. yeah and I also I think we're good as a band at just doing stuff. Like a shitload of comfort in the fact that it's always on like a little bit of the edge for me yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah but i think that that's like totally false because i've got absolute like i know everybody else is going to be sweet they're going to mm. carry it and now that i'm hearing no everybody else is on the edge as well it's made me a little bit like oh yeah fuck, and I this think, could fall over at any but we're time there yeah, together but, yeah, we're, but, yeah. And i think if we weren't on the edge we wouldn't enjoy it oh no <laughs> not at all. Right. You know, like, yeah. yeah and i think when you've got proof that it works then why would you change it you yeah, know yeah uh, so you, a massive congratulations on your album coming out. Is you. there uh, you got any favourites? Anything that came out real hot that you're just really into? Um, I think it, like we've we've talked about it a bit. Um, there's a couple of tracks like um, particularly Harmonicus and Local Honey that kind of like Local really. Honey. Oh no, that's not, not out Honey, yet. Sorry. Um, Amelia's, Amelia's not finished recording her yeah, vocals yeah, yeah, for yeah, Local yeah. Honey yet. Uh, coming soon. Um, Active Relaxer and Harmonicus, and uh, we've kind of had discussions about it, just um, at those kind of being like uh, full khaki moments, like that moment where everything kind of comes together, like the breakdown at the end of Active Relaxer or just like Harmonicus as a tune. Um, those are probably a couple of my favourites. Um, you guys? For me, I'm, and I'm, I'm often met with this, which is like when I first 
heard local honey as one complete piece. Um, at our most polished sounding is at our most infinite. Mm. Like the, the, the live to air stuff, which sounds fucking great, was us as a baby band. Yeah. Mm. We are still learning to play with each other. Like C's mm. first f- live show. Yeah. And it sounds fucking great. And there's like that normal khaki messiness that's through it, but it sounds really good. And then the stuff that is like at the beginning is now, is us. And it sounds so like raw, rungle, bare bones. Mm. It feels authentically us Mm. in its presentation. So as a complete piece, I'm like, we're geniuses. (laughs) (laughs) Palmy's best band. Rolling into the middle of that. Is we oh are like God, let, let's let's be honest, like we're kind of dicks, and in the middle of all of that, what breaks it up is probably the best thing we've ever made, mm. which is Makino Dairy, Dairy Chicken. Chicken. Yeah, you know? yeah. And I think that the juxtaposition between us being so comfortable, but it sounds kind of like dog, mm. versus <laughs> us sounding really, really great, but living totally like infinite, like mm. baby stage. Yeah, yeah. It's I think really cool to me. Like the. The second half of the album, like the oldest songs from the live to air session, to me, most of that is like these songs were written by Jordan before we joined, and mm. we just like we learnt them and we all built our little bits yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. But then that the first half of the album, which is the newer stuff, is like we actually wrote these together. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I found that like really like special for me mm. because it was like kind of my first time actually learning how to write something around someone else like rather than replicating like mm. figuring right. out what i could play and i think active relaxer is like has a funny thing of like the first time jordan <laughs> brought active relaxer to us we were in dan's shed oh my God. and me and jordan were just yelling at Boy, each other back and forth fighting. being like nah tell me the chords because Jordan can't. Jordan couldn't communicate to me in my language, and also Shannon. Shannon has a different language. And so we we and Ben has well. a different language. So we all come from different kind of languages of musical understanding. And basically, it was very frustrating because uh, it was the first song that was like somewhat complicated. And um, <laughs> but now now it's my most proud thing to hear because yeah. it's like. I figured this out and together we made something that sounds really cohesive and fun and like everyone wrote their own piece and it just gels really well and I'm I think that's that's sick yeah yeah Yeah. thank thank god that uh Music is a universal language. Yes, that would help you know? if everyone liked it. Everyone knew how to. No oh, doubt. Music. Yeah. I'm going to throw this to the ether as well. Like, and I probably noticed it more on the weekend than anything. We're really blase about this band when we outwardly talk about it, even to each other. But we actually give a shit. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah. It's weird <laughs> us saying that to each other. Like, fuck, I, I like care about this band. Mm. But I kind of don't want to care too much. Yeah. You know? mm. I, I think it's like a, a balance, though. Yeah. It's like. We care about the community and being a part yeah, of that and like yeah. contributing to like a wider thing. We don't care about our like yeah. individual no, success. No, like, no, like, no, no, no. We just care that like we get to slow mosh with our friends exactly. because the band allows us to participate in that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I think um it's extremely clear from an outsider that that is true. <laughs> I think to see that you folks like are pretty like relentless playing shows, like you play a bunch of shows. Um, sometimes you practice here, you know, you see it on socials that you're hanging out, whatever. I think from an outsider's perspective, you can really see that you're a bit of a whano. And, yeah, uh, it's, um, and it shows when you're on stage as well, which I think is it's a, it's a beautiful thing. Nice. Um, especially because you're all kind of like icons in your own right. Oh. Um, <laughs> around, best band, y'all. You know, but yeah, from around, <laughs> like, people know you from different things and doing different things. And then to come mm. together as uh, almost a super group. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Jordan is the face of PNCC. Oh my god. Dan is Polaroids. <laughs> Shannon is Shannon. You know? yeah, I got, ben exists. Ben is, ben no, exists. Ben's in Coldplay. Ben's in Coldplay. In Coldplay um, we, won't, we won't dox them, but like, yeah. 
town plan or something. Town plan or something. <laughs> and it's uh, yeah, it all comes together. So uh, you've released this this mm-hmm. uh, sweet sticky baby out to the world. Amazing. Hey, look, um, you're doing great things. Again, congratulations on your album. You should be very proud of your stadium sound um, <laughs> and your... That's big, all Nigel. And your big family. That is, it's Nigel to a T, yeah, his big stadium yeah, sound, yeah, and we, yeah. love, we love him for it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, a massive congratulations. Keep doing what you're doing. Uh, yeah. Palmy loves you. The The world's going to see you. Uh, well, at least Aotearoa is going to see you. <laughs> when you go on tour, uh, right before Santa comes, um, so that'll be good for your stockings. Nice. Um, <laughs> really, to wrap it up, we've got to say, if Kaki Department were a fruit, what fruit would you be? Yo. Well, whoa, whoa. you know, there's only really uh, one fruity. person who can answer this quite question. Um, <laughs> That's, are you saying that to you? That no, that was a joke. Um, oh my god! Okay, good. I won't get I, I won't get Hillary Barry cancelled. To be um, fair, like. With, uh, we're all different fruit inside the same fruit bowl. We're a right? fruit salad. Yeah. We're, we're a real fruit That's salad. Beautiful. I'm probably the cherry. You smell like shit on the inside. Yeah. We're durian. Uh, so no, no. We're, if you durian. if you were a fruit salad, fruit. I'm I'm a cherry. I'm claiming cherry. I'm gonna go with grape. Would I'm going grape? straight peach. Okay. Peach. Yeah. Not a gay peach. None yeah. of that gay shit in here. No, I'm, a I'm a gay peach, um, y'all. Um, Give me the Shannon, gay peach. Shannon is banana. Oh. oh no way! That's doing <laughs> that's doing shunky and so hard. I okay, actually no, love that, bananas, but you saying? can't have a banana in a fruit salad. Because no, it a, gets all shitty. Eh? Yeah. Bends, a pear. Um, Bends the pear. Bends the pear. Bends the pear. Shannon is probably. It could be apple. She likes apple. There we go. Yeah. Like the stewed apple. Shannon is a stewed apple situation. Okay. Yep. You put stewed apple in a fruit salad. We might now. Well, yeah, well, let's nice. try it. And a cherry. You've got to remove, remove. those pips. All right, well, that sounds cooked as fuck. So <laughs> Don't remove my pip. No, oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> what so, does that even mean? Sorry, and oh, I. What are you trying to say? <laughs> all right, that's a good one. Thanks for listening. You're on 99.4 Radio Control. You! The Voluntary Human Extinction Movement.